Today, I'm working on a Scratch project that involves sound. Let's explore some of the ways that you can add sound to Scratch projects. Under the Sounds tab on the Project Editor, when you're looking at the Sound menu, you'll notice there are options to choose a sound, record a sound, or upload a sound. Do not upload materials under copyright. Please keep each of your files under 10 megabytes. And be sure that your upload follows the community guidelines and does not reveal personal information. I'm going to show you choosing a sound from the sound library and recording a sound. I'm also going to show you an additional technique to add sound to Scratch using text to speech blocks. You can scroll through the sound library and choose a sound you like. Hover over the sounds to hear what they sound like. Back on the code tab, I have a couple of choices for sound blocks. Let's choose the start a sound block, and I'm going to choose the meow sound. Let's put it before this say block and see what happens. Now let's see what the difference is if we use the play sound until done block. Did you notice the difference? To record a sound, choose record from the sound menu. You can see the audio meter here on the side registering the sounds that it's hearing in the room. And when I'm ready, I'll hit the record button. Let's fly. I can check it out to see what it sounds like. Let's fly. I can also use these sliders to edit out the parts that I don't need, like the empty space before and after I was talking. Let's play my recording after meow. Let's fly. What if I want the parrot to have a different voice than Scratch Cat? I can record my voice in different ways. Silly Scratch Cat, cats can't fly. Silly Scratch Cat, cats can't fly. Or I can record my normal voice and edit the sounds later. Silly Scratch Cat, cats can't fly. Once I have my sound recorded, I can also use tools in the sound editor to edit the sound. Let's cut out the parts that I don't need. Silly Scratch Cat, cats can't fly. That's the part I'm keeping, so I'm going to select the other parts that I don't want and click to delete. If I have my sound go slower or faster, it can change the pitch of the sound. Now let's test our whole program. Let's fly. Maybe I don't want to record my own voice. Maybe it's too loud in the room where I'm at, but I would still love my users to be able to hear the words as they're being shown on the screen. Let's try the text-to-speech extension. To find that extension, I'm going to go down to this menu in the lower left-hand corner, and I'm going to look for text-to-speech. Notice that it says this requires the internet. Once I click on the text-to-speech extension, you see I have some new blocks here. I'm first going to select a voice. Now I'm going to add a speak block, and I'm going to type my words into the speak block. Let's add these blocks to my code. Let's fly. This is all looking pretty good, but let's try a little technique that I like so that the words appear on the screen at the same time that they're being spoken. To do this, I'm going to go back to my looks category, and instead of grabbing a say block with a time associated with it, I'm going to grab two say blocks that have no time associated with them. In the first one, I'm going to type the text that I want. In the second one, I'm going to delete all the text to leave it blank. Now what I will do is I will move the first say block with the text above the speak block. I will then put the second say block that is blank below the speak block. I'm going to quickly remove this weight. Silly scratch cat, cats can't fly. The words appear on the screen for as long as it takes to speak them. Let's fly. Silly scratch cat, cats can't fly. The possibilities are endless. What will you create?